Hi everyone, welcome back to the Sea Morning Show. We are almost at the halfway point of our program, which leads us to our very next exciting discussion. Yes. Now, as you know, the youth are key agents for social and political change, as well as economic, cultural, and tech development. They are an important demographic in any country, including ours, and they deserve everyone's attention. And to nurture youth's role in technology, especially data science, ASEAN Foundation organizes the annual ASEAN Data Science Explorer, which aims to empower young people across ASEAN, including Paul and myself, with data analytic skills. It also seeks to inspire them to take part in tackling press socioeconomic issues across the region, through data-driven proposals that will contribute to the realization of the UN SDGs within the region. That's right. Caroline just said a whole bunch of stuff I don't understand. So joining us this morning, luckily, to talk more about data science and explain what it's all about is the youth involvement in the sector is Iona Dominique, ASEAN Data Science Explorer 2023 Ambassador. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Iona. Thank Congrats. you for joining us today. Yes. Good morning, Paul. Good yeah. morning, everyone. Wow. Thanks a lot for having me for this session. Yeah. It's been a pleasure of mine in sending this. So I can share my knowledge and also to share what is our initiative in okay. Southeast Asia. So first Let's start by uh, uh, telling us uh, what is data science? All right. So first of all, data science is um, a field where we use mathematical and computational skills to uh, process the data sets in industry and also in business. Okay. And moving on, maybe I would like to share, um, despite these terminologies, maybe sounds a little bit hard or boring for most of our audience. No worry, because data science it's not doesn't sound that scary at all. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, it does sound scary to me though, okay. <laughs> but it's great. Uh, all right, we're going to talk more about the program. Uh, let's talk about it. So how did you get selected for So this is somewhat like an annual program that they have? Yes, correct. So previously, I was a participant in this okay. program a few years ago. And moving on for this year, I was selected as the program's ambassador for Indonesia. Okay. And moving on, um, this program is a joint initiative with 10 ASEAN member states mm -hmm. where we're aiming to uh, do a comp annual competition and also free educational sessions on data science. And we're targeting to educate and expose youths in Southeast Asia with higher data science skills and also all the soft skills needed outside of their educational institutions. And we learn uh, a lot from it. For instance, um, I learn how to communicate with many stakeholders and also I teach youths from right. many different backgrounds. Oh, really? Okay. It's like what? Such as what? What sort of backgrounds are we uh, talking about here? We're talking about uh, youths from underprivileged backgrounds and also those who didn't even have any backgrounds from mathematics nor data science. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yes, everyone is allowed to learn and join us to learn data science and also join our annual competition wow. and also uh, everything is a joint initiative in, from intergovernmental, okay. so it's all for free. We're looking forward for higher youths and also women participation in this yeah, program. I agree indeed. with you there. So, uh, can you tell us a little bit about how data science is applied on a day-to-day -day basis? All right, thank you for the question. So, on a day-to-day basis, especially with the digitalization in yeah. our industry mm -hmm. and in Indonesia, uh, we all, uh, our businesses are having higher demands for data yeah. science, right? We right? rely yes. on data yes. all the time. Yes, right. yes. So in the current post-pandemic even, um, businesses are starting to have higher demands for data scientists. And moving on, um, the scope of it is really large, especially with Indonesians with high population and many businesses and right. industries in right. data science need for it. Yeah. So you see there's the potential. I mean, our HR, and we have a lot of people here, but how can we engage with data science? So like you said, there are some places, especially right here in Indonesia, that people are not aware of math not aware of science and whatnot. So how can they be engaged and even be relatable with data science? True. All right. So we do realize there's an inequality and there's a gap yes, in the education right. as well. So that is why we're addressing this initiative. We're opening this opportunity from our governmental side and from youths like me as well. Yeah. We are aiming to address that inequality. That is yes. why this initiative uh, all of our education sessions is all mm -hmm. open for everyone as long as they're age 15 until 30 years old. And we're uh, specifically oh. targeting uh, for higher women participation in our program. Great. Hence, um, our program is trying to address that issue seriously. Okay. Yeah, of course, we want, want more Indonesian women just like you, Yona, because you mm -hmm. speak very fluently, especially. <laughs> you know what you're talking about. 
Um, yeah. There's a, we actually did a, a discussion yesterday where it was revealed that there's actually only about 22% mm -hmm. of women that are currently in tech, and that is kind of an alarmingly low number. Right. We do need that number to go up. Now, mm -hmm. you did say you're the ambassador for Indonesia. Um, where does Indonesia, I'm curious, place amongst the other countries, and what other countries are amongst this uh, this uh, placement, like well, the other ambassadors that are uh, have the same role as you? Where does Indonesia place on the list uh, internationally? Ah, all right. Thank you for the question. So, as an Indonesian ambassador, of course, um, all ASEAN members, that they ten member states, mm -hmm. everyone has the same role, and actually, everyone has the same opportunity. Other ambassadors in other countries were aiming and focusing on the same goal and objective, mm -hmm. which is as youths like me, with like-minded youths, mm -hmm. we're aiming to increase uh, the knowledge, and we were aiming to spread our knowledge to other youths as well to address the issue that you earlier right. mentioned. And we're also aiming to ha expose them with higher data science and also data analysis skills through mm -hmm. this initiative. So uh, my, I guess my, my question would be, um, what are some of the challenges that you currently see that Indonesia faces mm -hmm. in this field? All right, thanks for your question. This is going to be really interesting. Mm. So first of all, there's an issue in the education segment. Um, okay. There has been a report. First, uh, regarding the gender inequality that you mentioned earlier, even there's a report from PwC, there's only 5% of women participation in tech leadership. That's yeah. a minority, right? It's really bad. It's only 5%. In those higher positions, right? Yeah. And moving on, uh, for not to mention Indonesia itself and other ASEAN member states, there are uh, the education gaps from people who probably live in the urban areas and also the rural areas. So this is a huge challenge for us. But despite that, I'm really optimistic that we all can work together. That is why it's really important for a collaborative action from government and also from the private sectors and the industry itself and youths like me. And we want to, uh, let's work together to increase our human resource quality and also at the same time. However, there's an issue, for instance, um, there has been a mismatch in the demands for the job itself uh, with the uh, university uh, majors. Many sure. of youths are experiencing like, I take this major, but along the way, perhaps I realized that this is not my passion. Right, and that, that happens, happens all the time. Yeah, yeah. right? And moving on, there's also some, uh, maybe many youths are still confused on what to do mm -hmm. for their future. So I think it's really important to address this issue so youths can have similar opportunities to reach uh, what they really want and right. mm -hmm. receive the education that they need. And, and by the way, if I can add on to that, sometimes when we start uh, thinking that, oh, I want to major in this, yeah. along the way, something else suddenly blossoms it's up and a whole new like industry that. could right. pop up and then Definitely. you have to kind of make that shift. Right. Now, I just, you were, you know, Paul made a great question about the challenges that you see, but I really want to know, especially you as an ambassador right here of uh, Indonesia for ASEAN on the ground on the process because you said like I like to teach and whatnot you know women and also children or the youths and whatnot what is the programs or how's what's your agenda to penetrate and giving the soft skill of data science so then they can uh, reciprocate you know in a positive way and then accept it and then to like it because you need to introduce it and for them to like it mm. then they want to be Gain emerging yes Yes, uh, thank you for the question. So for our program, Data Science Explorers, we have enablement sessions. So what are enablement sessions? In those sessions, we provide uh, info sessions for our programs, the competition and also uh, the uh, data analytics training itself, everything for free. And we also collaborate with many educational institutions from 10 ASEAN member states. Mm -hmm. So I just want to add on to that. What's the competition? Because it, mm -hmm. it starts from the competition. Yeah. So exactly. how, is it, how is it about? All right, so the Data Science Explorers Competition is an annual competition organized by the ASEAN Foundation and SAP. And moving on, um, our participants are assigned to create storyboards to address oh, okay. the six United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Okay. And uh, registration is still open, guys, until the end of April. Okay. And this is and open to anyone? Yes, as long as you're 15 until 30 years old and you're yes. currently registered in an educational institution in ASEAN, okay. you are free to apply and you're eligible to do so. And moving okay. on, we also have the enablement sessions uh, conducted uh, daily. Mm -hmm. And upcoming here, uh, we have on April, we have multiple enablement sessions. Stay tuned in our Instagram at ASEAN Foundation. We're going to share it uh, daily there. Okay. Oh, nice. oh, by the way, in regards to the competition, you mentioned the six issues. What are some of them? You're curious as well. 
All right. Uh, I assume like climate change would be yeah, one, wouldn't course. it? That would be definitely. Exactly. Okay. Climate change is a hot issue right now. Okay. And uh, we also have, um, moving on, the in the website, you can actually see the details in right. www.abse.org. Right. There you go. Right. Yes. All right. So uh, real quick, so what do you think, uh, what developments do you think uh, will drive the need for more data scientists, because obviously this is something that is uh, that is preparing the youth for the future. For example, for employment or a career. So, what do you think needs to develop here in Indonesia for there to be a need for more of these data scientists like yourself? Mm. All right. Um, first of all, um, the, there's a higher demand for data scientists, data analysts with the whole digitalization in our industry, especially in the in fourth industrial revolution that we're currently mm -hmm. happening right now. Right. Mm -hmm. And moving on, I think with um, the technology developments, indeed, is absolutely the main Tech, drive. Right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. However, I want to emphasize the fact that it's really important for everyone here to have that spirit of wanting to learn new things. Yes. Why? Because technology is um, developing in a really rapid yeah. pace. Mm -hmm. uh, yesterday, uh, we don't, we're not even sure that there's someone who can automatically write something for us. Yeah. But today with the artificial intelligence and bam, uh, yeah. new technology appeared. Everything is automated and no one sees it coming. Mm -hmm. Not everyone has the same access to um, maybe uh, face that challenge. And not to mention, how about the jobs who are being cut off later on, which is impacting the youths like me in the future? Mm. Right. Yeah, That's right? True. So I think that is really important to be addressed in the future. All right. Very good. Very well said. So again, congratulations on uh, being selected. As, so is this a yearly thing? You're going to be the ambassador for just one year, or you've been ambassador for a couple of years now? I, I'm, as, I'm in this 2023 um, season. This so, year. Yes. So it's a yes. one-year thing. This year. Okay, well, good luck. Thank you. Uh, and enjoy your reign. Indeed. Yes. Uh, you make a great representation for the Indonesian youth, and we hope that you're able to spread this uh, further so that more and more youth from Indonesia will be interested. Uh, interested in data science. And thank you for coming thank by. You. Thank you very much. Good morning, you. Thank My you pleasure. very much. Oh, that was Iona Dominic as the ASEAN Data Science Explorer 2023 Ambassador. And right now we're going to take a break, but when we return, we still have updates from around the world. So stay tuned right here on the C Morning Show only on C Today.